We spend a lot of time in this real analysis series talking about sets, specifically topological properties of sets. And the reason we're doing that is we want to give ourselves a shorter field in being able to understand continuous functions. For example, take a look at the reciprocal function, f of x equals 1 over x. Is this thing a continuous function? If we can understand the properties of sets from a topological standpoint well enough, it should make answering that question relatively simple. What a silly question. Well, if it isn't our old friend, the calculus That's enjoyer. Right. I got an A minus in calculus, and I can tell you that is not continuous. Because I have to lift my pencil when I draw the graph. Duh. Well, maybe if you'd done your work in pencil, you could have pulled the A. <laughs> not everyone makes mistakes like you do. I mean, seriously, have you seen the comments on this guy's abstract algebra videos? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. The, the, the less said about that, the, the better. Um, so my point here is that continuity of a function has more to do than just the function's behavior itself. It also has a lot to do with the domain of the function. The domain of a function is an inextricable part of its character, of its identity, and that domain is a set. So we can't fully understand continuity of a function unless we first understand how sets operate. And in the next few videos, we want to look at some new properties, topological properties of sets that I call the thickness properties. They can help us to sort of talk about how much of a set there is, how much a set resembles an interval versus how much it resembles some scattered discrete set of points. So we're going to develop a few different ideas for what the ways of measuring the thickness of a set might look like, and then use those to start investigating continuous functions. Let's jump right in.